Final Legion as ah, really here, like always. And we got some Flash, like 18T kind of special. I'm hoping maybe it shows us a little something. Uh, maybe not. Let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. It's loud for me. All, right. all stuff I haven't seen before. I know you have abilities. I just don't know what they are. Barry Allen, a normal guy, got hit by a bolt of lightning, giving him superpowers, <laughs> making him the Flash. Come on, that's cool. So you're fast. That feels like an oversimplification. <laughs> he brings to the Justice League this extra dimensional power, the speed force. He's so fast, in fact, that his movements are invisible to the naked eye. It's really cool. You guys seem ready to do battle and stuff, but I've never done battle. Woo! I've just pushed some people and run away. <laughs> Save one person. Uh, which one? Don't talk. Don't fight. Get in. Get one out. And then? You'll know. He's the youngest member of the Justice League. I need friends. But also the coolest. <laughs> Can I keep this? <laughs> hey, you guys are nice. Flash well, has the ability wait. to experience friends. That was pretty funny. But also the coolest. <laughs> Can I keep this? <laughs> hey, you guys are nice. Flash has the ability to experience time more slowly than the average person. It's a useful power. Barry Allen is criminally excited to be a part of the Justice League. <laughs> How many of you are there? Oh, wow, they just, they really just vanish. Huh? Oh, that's rude. <laughs> if anybody knows where that interview's at, let me know, because I would love, thank you, at t if anybody knows where that interview is at, where they're all right there talking, link it right now down below. I would love to check that out. Oh, man, God Dan. That looks like it's going to be fantastic. It, it looks like it's just going to be awesome. I can't can wait for the Justice League movie. It's, I, it's about, I'm, I'm about as excited as I was when the Avengers movies came out for Marvel's side of things, when I had all the people. DC really is just kind of skipping ahead here, aren't they? They took the two best uh, heroes which were, you know, just Batman and Superman. Add a little bit of Wonder Woman in there, made her the trifecta. They really wanted to give her a movie, so they gave her a pretty significant role in Batman versus Superman. Um, yeah, and, you know, it, it just kind of spawned from there. They kind of, they didn't have a Flash or Cyborg. They're really hitting it with the huge blockbuster first, and then they're going to probably branch out after that. Obviously, the, uh, the, um, the reverse for Marvel their approach was to do the trifecta first and then bring them all together, which is more epic. Having Iron Man and then Thor and Captain America all kind of come together uh, uh, after their independent movies and seeing the, like, the little bonus, it really kept you on your seats, like on the tip of your seat, whatever. Uh, and then when they all came together, you're like, oh my God, the Avengers movie is incredible. This one, it just I, I'm excited to see all of it. I'm not excited to see them all together. I've seen it in cartoons, comic books, whatever. And I guess the Avengers is the same thing, although I don't read a lot of the Avengers comics. And when I do, it, it, it's made more real in the flesh and blood, right? When you have movies that actually got to make it to not only a trilogy, but then they all get to put, get put into one movie together. That's pretty... Somebody's on a motorcycle and it's really loud. More like a freaking Vespa pussy. Uh, no, but... It, it, it's weird when it's made into flesh and you get to see them all together. You get to see Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans and uh, uh, Chris uh, Thor, I forgot his name, uh, and everybody else come together. It's like huge. It's like a monumental because they're all personalities outside of the movie as well as inside. In DC, you know, one of them was The Flash was in uh, a series. Uh, what was it the, the Harry Potter prequel thing, the series of 400 events or whatever, the, the, the monster, whatever that was called. Uh, and then, you know, of course we got, uh, uh, Wonder Woman was in Batman vs Superman, Ben Affleck was in Batman vs Superman, and everybody else was like, you know, and Aquaman was fighting, which kind of funny, the, uh, Atlanteans in Stargate Atlantis. Not really Atlanteans, but the ones that were trying to kill them, or, or whatever it was. Uh, they're all kind of weird. It's kind of like the bacon thing, but not really. It's like six degrees from the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. They make it 16 degrees of something not important. I don't know. 
Uh, either way, it's like... So, this movie's like... I can't wait to see the entirety of the movie. The Avengers was like, I can't wait to see the people interact together. So, it's two different feelings, two different things. I'm excited to see Justice League. It's going to be good. And with that, I'm going to stop blabbing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you can always like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. If you want to leave a comment discussing anything we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically, you can always leave a comment down below. Love to see them if you hear all the comments. And I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Once again, my name is Azrael. Later, guys.